guys, this is Jeremy from HockeyReviewHQ.com and we are doing a full review of the Fly Pucks. So these pucks are designed to slide smoothly on rough surfaces like concrete and asphalt. And there are three pucks in the Fly Puck family. That's the 8-ounce, the 6-ounce, and the 4-ounce. Each puck has a different purpose, but we'll get to that later in the review. For now, let's take a close-up look at what you get. So let's uh, pop this thing open. And take a look at what's inside. Oh, there's the pack. Some useless packaging. Stuff there. There's the DVD. And there we go. And let's take a look at the puck now. So, this is the fly puck. Here's a close up look. You can see it's got a recessed center. So, that is to eliminate contact points with the um, surface. So, basically, it makes a slide easier if only this part is touching then there's less friction um, so yeah there we go and this yeah that looks like a sticker which it is so I'm guessing that would come off in the rain take a look this is the material see how close we can get in focus so you got like a seam right there hopefully it doesn't break apart that's the plastic nice and hard and uh, you can't really chip away at it or pick at it so that's probably a good thing um, but we'll see how it actually holds up on the pavement. And there we go, we'll do a little slide test on the table. Slides all right. And uh, the full review, of course, will be on the road and we'll take you out there right now and we will review this puppy and this puppy and we'll show you the purpose of each different puck and how they actually work. So uh, let's go out to the road and uh, test these things out. First I'm gonna show you the fly pucks on the smoothest surface I could find. Hockey shooting pad, you can see our full review for that on the website as well. So this is the 4 ounce fly puck. You can see I've already used it off road. You can see it's kind of scuffed up a bit there. And uh, stickers falling off the back. It's been out in the rain. So I'll tell you how that went in the uh, article. But first I'll show you the nice smooth surface. This is the 4 ounce pack. It's meant for nice quick movements, repetition. It's lighter than a regular hockey puck, so that's what that's for. It's uh, just speed, quick moves, and repetition. And I'll show you this is a six ounce regular hockey puck, so that's just a dollar Canadian tire type puck. And it slides nice and smoothly as it should. This is the six ounce, so that matches the weight of a regular hockey puck. And it actually feels a bit heavier. I don't know, maybe it's because it's harder plastic, or uh, I think most pucks generally lose a few ounces over time. So, it does feel a bit heavier than a regular puck, so. but still slides nice and smooth on there. And this is the 8 ounce, so that is for building your stick handling and shooting muscles because you can also shoot with these things. Uh, yeah, that's more for slower movements and just sort of programming your muscles and getting that feeling of how to execute each move. So if you want to practice a certain deke, you know, do it slowly first with the weighted puck, then move down to the next one. So that's sort of the system, how you can use the fly pucks. And now I will show you uh, the fly pucks on a uh, not so smooth surface. So here's a not super smooth surface. It's pavement, and this is not the really smooth pavement. It's sort of got that sandpaper feel to it. So it's a bit rough, but there's no real bumps or anything like that. So nothing to really interrupt the slide. This is a four ounce fly puck. And you can see you can put a little spin on it, stick handle fairly smoothly, and it doesn't bounce up or anything like that. And I think there's not a lot of vibration, so that doesn't cause the fly puck to flip over. This is six ounce. Once again, still stick handle fairly quickly with it, without it uh, flipping up. And this is the eight ounce. This is the weighted one. Slides nicely, no problems there. Oh, there you go. So there you go. The fly pucks slide nice and smooth on not so rough pavement and now I'm going to show you a rough surface with lots of bumps on it. This is the last surface I'll show you how the fly pucks work on. You can see it's a very rough surface. It's got like lots of raised bumps and rocks and pebbles and stuff like that. This is your uh, typical school blacktop. And so yeah this one's very bumpy. should add lots of vibrations so and that's the roughest surface that I'll show you how the fly pucks work on. First we'll test out a hockey puck. Wow, that's just terrible. It doesn't even go smoothly and bounces all over the place. So hockey puck is just out of the question. Uh, we'll go with the four ounce fly puck, which I mean, it, it slides. Uh, 
take some coaxing, it does, you can see it kind of bounces around right there. So you can still, you can still use it. It does bounce a bit, so I think that's just because of uh, vibrations and stuff like that. We'll go with the uh, six ounce. That actually seems to slide a bit better than the four ounce. Maybe it's got some more weight, so it's not as bouncy. So that one is actually working not too bad. Still flips up, and we'll go with the eight ounce. And this actually heavy one works the best on the rough surface. I guess the heavier it is, the less it's going to bounce around. Uh, so yeah, it's not really spectacular, but you can use it. Um, I guess your best bet would be to go with a nice smooth surface. And you can also use these for shooting, so I'll show you what shooting is like with these things and uh, take a look at the material and how it holds up. So I don't have a hockey net out here, so I'm just going to be shooting up against this wire mesh, the baseball diamond. Be creative, right? So first, I'll just take a shot quickly with uh, each weight. So this is the uh, four ounce, just a wrist shot. That feels pretty light. You can really fling it at the cage. This is the six ounce. That feels pretty nice. Uh, similar to a puck, maybe felt a bit heavier. And this is the eight ounce one, which is supposed to build your uh, shooting muscles. Actually, I really like how that felt. Um, yeah, you can definitely feel it's way heavier than a uh, regular puck. And we'll take a few more shots and see how the material stands up. And I'm going to aim for those big, thick posts and uh, see if we can do some damage. So now that I've done a full review of the fly pucks, I'll show you what they look like and what I think. Um, I've been testing them for about a week, even though in the video it looks like only a few days. But I took them out before and uh, did a lot of stick handling, a lot of passing, a lot of shooting. And uh, just recently I showed you um, what it would look like if I sniped the posts. So that's just uh, simulating hitting an actual goal post with the uh, fly pucks and how they would hold up. So I'll show you uh, what they look like now. Step aside here. So this is the four ounce. You can see it's uh, fairly scuffed up. It's still usable and everything like that. Uh, the sticker's worn out. I left it out in the rain. So, uh, yeah, the stickers don't last long. You can see right there, there's a crack that happened when I hit the post. So I you can still use it, but it doesn't look like it's going to hold up much longer. So that's the 4-ounce. That's the lightest one. So I don't think you should shoot with these pucks unless you are just shooting into a mesh or something. So if there's a hard surface, like a post, um, probably going to break it. There's like a dent right there as well. So, yeah, that's just one shot. I mean, I shoot about... 50, 60 miles per hour with my wrist shot, probably close to 50. <laughs> but so yeah, um, if you shoot hard, don't shoot them in the post. This is the blue one. Uh, stickers coming off again in the rain. I didn't use this one quite as much, so it's not as worn as the other one. Um, hit the post a few times with this one, but it didn't break, so this one's still good. There's just a few marks on it, nicks and stuff like that. And then this is the uh, the weighted one, so the eight ounce. Um, this one I think took the most amount of damage, so I nailed the post there. I actually hit a regular uh, goal net there, the post, and it's dented and broken a bit. This one I shot it up against the wall that you see behind you, and it took a big chunk right off of it. So definitely don't shoot them against walls. There's another chip, and there's just like a few dents and scuffs, so there's a big dent. That's when I hit the post just earlier, and there's another dent right there. So yeah, I'm saying this material probably isn't made for shooting against hard surfaces, but yeah, you could shoot it against if you have like a big net or something like that. And uh, yeah, now I'll just tell you about what I think overall of these. So this is my overall view of the fly pucks and just what I thought of them throughout the review. First thing I'm going to cover what I wasn't too happy with, and that would be shooting. If you have a good shot and you hit something hard like a goal post, forget about it. These things are going to chip, they can dent, and uh, you can also crack them. So, just a heads up, if you have a good shot, you can still shoot with these things, just don't hit anything hard. If you have a nice big uh, net or meshing or something, they are really good for shooting, and I like the different weights of them. It's kind of nice to feel that when you're shooting. So that's the uh, pros and cons of shooting. For stick handling and passing, rough surfaces, I wouldn't really recommend them. They sort of get that speed wobble thing going around, and then they start you know, flipping. So if it's really rough, I think too many vibrations cause them to flip around. 
so not really recommended if you have a really rough surface. You can still stick handle with them, and um, just not the best out there. Uh, for a nice smooth surface, they're good. So if you have a hockey shooting pad or a really smooth pavement, then they do work. So they're um, good for passing, good for stick handling. You do some moves out there with them. So um, next thing, would I buy them? Uh, yes and no. First of all, I don't think I would buy, if I was just going to buy one puck, I don't think it would be the fly puck. Um, and I also wouldn't buy all three of them. This one right here, it's the six ounce puck. Uh, not really that great. I don't really find any use for it. Um, these two though, if I was going to buy them, I would buy these two. And that's just because this one is 4 ounces, it's significantly lighter than a regular puck, and this one's 8 ounces, and you can really feel the difference. So it's kind of nice to have this one. It's the actual shape of a hockey puck, which is nice, uh, versus a stick handling ball. It's a ball, right? So it's nice to have this shape, and it's heavy. So it, it slides nicely um, compared to other weighted hockey pucks with the rubber surroundings. So I like this one because if you want to work on one move, you can do it slowly, build your muscles with this one, and then once you get it down, you can build your repetition and muscle memory with the lighter one. So if there was a re reason I was going to buy them, I'd get these two, and that's pretty much the reason, just for um, the different weights. So that's the one thing I really did like about them, the different weights. Um, if you want to puck purely for stick handling and passing, I think there is a better product out there, so um, I wouldn't get the fly pucks. But yeah. Um, if you want just something different, you know, switch up your uh, stick handling routine, then uh, the fly pucks would be good for that, just uh, practicing some moves. And that's my overall view of them. If you want to set up a set of fly pucks, or if you want to get all three, then head over to our website, and we have a lot more reviews and tips out there for you. So thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our videos and to our blog.